Hi everyone. For the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can very quickly put together an automation in FME Flow. So we can see on screen here that I've logged into our FME Flow instance and over on the top left hand side of the window, you can see an automations drop down. And what I've done already is I've gone in and clicked on create automation and that's brought up this window on screen here. A trigger is automatically added when starting an automation um, because everything needs a trigger to prompt it to run. Um, so you can choose from a load of different types of triggers um, from manual to, you know, the file locations being updated, emails being received, loads of different things like that can start an automation. But in this case, we'll keep it a bit simple. We'll set up a schedule. And we'll choose basic schedule, but there is the option to repeat on interval or use a cron expression for something a bit more advanced. But keeping with basic um, with a recurrence of daily um, and we might set the time to run overnight rather than in the afternoon. So something like 10 p.m. at night. So this could be for a process like a data update um, that's happening to your databases overnight um, and that could be run and triggered by this FME automation. So setting that time to 10 p.m. and then I have it to do not, does not expire, um, but you can set up an end date as well if you wanted. So I'll click apply and we have our schedule set up, which is the trigger for this automation. Now the next thing you'd want to do is for it to do something. So in most cases, it would be to run a workspace. Um, so you could drag and drop an action here into the workspace by clicking that menu and dragging this icon across, or you could have clicked on the next action here as well. So this is connected up if the schedule was launched successfully. We have an action here, and what we'll select for that to do is run a workspace in this case, but you can have other things uh, that can run after the schedule is initiated. So we'll run a workspace. I'm going to just use the samples repository for the moment and a workspace from that that we'll use would be earthquake extrusion. But again, this could be something like a database update happening overnight or something like that. And I'm happy with the uh, default inputs here. We also have output attributes. So there's success and failure attributes created by FME Flow itself. Um, and then you can also set custom attributes based on the outputs of specific workspaces themselves, if you wanted that. But I'm okay with the defaults here, so I'm gonna click apply. So now what we have on screen is we have our schedule that's set up to run at 10 p.m. at night. We have a workspace that will run when that launches. And the next thing that we might want to know is, did this run successfully? Um, so this is something that, you know, maybe you wouldn't want to log in every day into FME Flow if you have a lot of jobs running to look through all the logs and see, you know, did this run successfully? So what we could set up is an email. So the FME Flow um, automation could send you an email. So to do that, we could set up an external action, drag and drop that here and double click. And the action in this case is to send an email. And we get a template here to fill out all of the details. I've put in the SMTP details further up in the window here. Um, but then in terms of who we want to email this um, success notification to, you can put in email addresses, you could put in mailing lists, something like that. Um, so I'll just send it to myself for the moment. And the email from would be our email account that we just configured. And then the email subject could be something like data update or FME data update, something that you know the recipient of the email would, would know what's being referenced. And we could say something like, hi there, um, the FME data update process ran successfully. Now this could be anything you could um, kind of configure this email body a little bit differently as well, but just 
for the purpose of the demo, this is more straightforward. And then you can validate the email setup with that. So that's validated correctly, which is good. And we can click apply. So now what we have is a very quick automation that's been put together um, on IFME Flow. So we've got our schedule, initiating the process at 10 p.m. It's going to run our workspace. And then if that workspace runs successfully, it's going to email us and tell us that it's done that. And you can save it um, with a name. So we'll call it Data Update Demo. And that should save. And then to get your workspace or your automation rather to start, you'd hit the start up here and that will just run consistently in the background and launch as scheduled. One or two other pieces of information that are quite helpful to know is that you can see on screen we've got all of our next actions marked out here. Um, and that's good as a guide when you're getting used to the automation interface. But to kind of tidy things up a little bit, if we go up to our menu up here, we have the option to hide these guides as well. And that just tidies up um, the interface a little bit here on screen. So we can click Save there. And what's also important to know is where to find the logs if you need to troubleshoot um, or do any debugging. So those can be accessed by clicking on this um, menu item here. But that's it. That's how you can put together an FME automation in a couple of minutes.